and they win the Big Ten Tournament Final 93-87, the final score. Damask and Shannon combined for 60 points in this one. Shannon is the most outstanding player of the tournament after scoring 102 points over three games, the most ever for an Illinois player in the Big Ten Tournament. With their path in the NCAA Tournament now solidified as well, Brett Behrens has more from Minneapolis on what the Illini are hoping is just the beginning of their postseason journey. The party is on in Minneapolis, and for the third time in four years, the Illini are Big Ten champs. One, two, three. The stomp has become a celebratory tradition for the team after winning it all, and with the confetti falling at Target Center, the Illini certainly have plenty to celebrate. Another trophy, another ring, and another chance to cut down the nets. It's something you dream of, you know. You, you always see it on TV. Um, people you look up to. Man, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Uh, come, being able to come back home and um, win a championship. Uh, it felt great to finally be a champ. Uh, everybody played so hard. Uh, the whole year we've been working for, the, for this moment and uh, really happy and grateful to, to be uh, in that position right now. Yeah, I mean, you just get chills, honestly. It's like, especially myself growing up in the Midwest, an Indiana boy, um, you know, you grow up watching college basketball your whole life. Honestly, since I can remember, I've been watching college basketball, watching people cut down the nets, and, you know, having the opportunity to be in those shoes. Um, it's something that people will always remember, remember, you know. And fittingly enough for this weekend, the journey to make it a reality wasn't easy. The Illini had to rally back from a double-digit deficit for the third straight day to beat the Badgers. Just our fight. You know, there were a lot of times where it would have been really easy to fold and just, you know, kind of pack it up and, and accept defeat. But, you know, every time out, we just had the same message that we weren't going home, we weren't losing this game. Tonight we got the best punch out of Wisconsin. Uh, they were playing some high-level basketball, and we were able to come out victorious. Um, so, now I'm super proud of this group. Um, I think it, it speaks volumes to the maturity of this group. Um, and, and, you know, we're ready to make a run. And that run starts Thursday in Omaha as the Illini earn the number three seed in the East region. The NCAA selection show was playing on the video board as the Illini watched their name pop up on the screen together. First up, Moorhead State. The 14 seed Eagles won the Ohio Valley Conference tournament title. Reporting in Minneapolis, Minnesota, for your Illini Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thanks so much. Here's the details for the round of 64. Illinois will tip off against those Eagles at 210 this coming Thursday in Omaha, Nebraska. Break out the TV guide because True TV has the coverage. These two schools have met once before in history, a 110 to 75 Illinois win in 1993. We have so much more on our website, yourillinination.com. Watch all of Illinois' title celebration from the Target Center. Plus, you can listen to what Brad Underwood and the Illini had to say after the big win. And Brett and I break down the game on the WCIA 3 in 1 podcast. So here is the entire East region, the Illinois game is down here against Moorhead State. The Illini get placed with the top overall seed and defending champs, UConn. They take on Stetson with a win on Thursday. Illinois has to either get past BYU or Duquesne in the round of 32 on Saturday. If Illinois makes it to the second weekend for the first time in 19 years, it'll likely be Iowa State waiting for them in Boston. But Brad Underwood has goals far beyond just getting out of Omaha. I'm here to try to win a national championship, and, and Illinois is that type of program. And um, I, 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 I tell Josh Whitman, our athletic director, Chancellor Jones, that every time I see him, we are here to win a national championship. And if, if, if those goals ever change, then I probably don't need to be your ball coach anymore. That's, that's our goal, not just get, to get out of the first weekend. It's to keep moving on. And the Illini men.